What's going on, my fellow nerds and geeks? I have a little pickup video, uh, just a few pops that I got. And uh, let's go ahead and check them out. Let's get right into it. So, stopping at Toys R Us, I was able to find the uh, Teenage Groot with the, I don't, it's not a cell phone, it's the little uh, football, football game that he's playing in the end credit scene for the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So, I've passed on a lot, I've got a lot of Groots. I mean, there's a ton of Groots out there. But I try not to get too many of them, and this is the only teenager Groot that I have. So, and I got this one just because I like the angry little look on his face, and I love that he's playing the little football game. I know there's one with a gun, and I think there's another exclusive, I think, I can't remember. But the common is just him with a gun. And you can see the other uh, Avenger Pops. And I did see all these at Funko HQ, I did get a chance to look at them all, and they are, there are some that are really, really cool. So, I'm um, kind of sticking with the Avengers theme. I'll go ahead and do the Avengers ones I got. So, uh, as you know, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. <laughs> so, when I saw this one coming out, I was like, yeah, I definitely have to get that. And that is the Box Lunch exclusive um, Unmasked Iron Spider-Man. So... Uh, the paint on this thing is really, really cool. I actually have not got the common yet for this one, but it, it I mean, it's just, yeah, it, it's head, his head is bobbling a ton in there. It doesn't have a very tight thing. It's, everything's fine, but it's just, it, every time I move it, it feels weird. Um, but yeah, the metallic paint they used on this is really, really cool. They did a really good job with this and I can't wait to pick up the actual uh, regular Iron Spider. I just, they're everywhere right now and so I've been kind of limiting on what I got. So, um, sticking with the Avengers is the Walmart exclusive Thanos. And as you can see, he's got the little thing and I actually picked this one up at, uh, at the Funko HQ. So they had like 10 of them, I think, there. And I know that a buddy of mine got this and his box was just, it was all cut on the top and cut on the front. So when I got there and got this one, I messaged him and said, hey, uh, there's a couple left. I'll grab an extra one if you want to come down and grab it. And so his wife came down and picked it up for him. So I was able to uh, get him a better box. Cause I mean, his was just destroyed. So, um, and he actually hooked me up because I was not able to get this online. And this is, this is cool. So this is the Funko exclusive Lucky Leprechaun Glow in the Dark. And I do actually have the regular set of these guys, all three of them. So I didn't get the flocked tricks though. I missed that one. I actually missed this one too. And the reason why I missed this one is because because of the Funko HQ being so close in town, a lot of times when these drop, I wait to get it from the Funko HQ only because I don't have to pay shipping. And so I can get it, you know, saving the eight, seven dollars or whatever it is for shipping. And because this one actually has a sticker that says limited exclusive or limited edition. Which normally when they have a limited edition, they end up with a ton of them. So I didn't think, you know, I knew that it was a ad icon and those things are always super popular. But when I saw it was a limited sticker, I was like, well, I'll just pass and get it at the Funko HQ. No, it sold out like instantly online. Within seconds online, it was sold out. And then at the Funko HQ, someone said they had like between 50 or 70 of them and they were gone in like minutes the first group of people going into Funko HQ that morning got them all. So I was like, oh, that sucks. You know, I do already have a Lucky, so not a big deal. I was really hoping to get the Glow in the Dark because I love Glow in the Dark Pops. <laughs> so I was really hoping to, but I was like, not a big deal. And the buddy that I actually uh, told about this, I had the extra green Emerald Batman I gave to him. And instead of him, because I just told him, you know, it's like 15 bucks, whatever I paid for it. So instead of him giving me the 15 bucks, he gave me this, which was awesome because that was my extra. This was his extra. His wife grabbed it, special for me. 
thank you very much, Tara, for grabbing it. Actually, I think it was Tara's cousin that got it because he didn't want it. And so um, thank you to them both. Thanks, Mike, for, for getting that. I Yeah, I, the glow on that's pretty cool too. The hat, every, like the hat and the, and the coat and everything glows on it. So it's like his, his little hat, his coat and shoes and stuff all glow. So that's pretty, I, I, was, I was happy. I was, I, it was cool. I was very excited. And so that same day, I hit up Barnes & Noble, hoping to find one of these. And luckily, there was two, and my buddy and I were both there, so he was able to get one, and I was able to get one. And that is the Invisible Golem. And I do have the Chase. I don't have the Common. I haven't got that one yet. But uh, I have seen all of these pops at the Funko HQ, and they are very cool looking. Um, like the tree beard, the six inch, that thing is, it's really, really cool looking. So the only thing that would have made that cooler is if they had a little Merry and Pippin on, on, on its shoulders like that. That would have just made that thing awesome. I don't know, maybe at a exclusive at some time. I don't know, probably not. That'd be, but I know they did it with Baby Groot. They put Baby Groot on the back of Rocket. So you never know. But yes. That is cool. I do have the uh, invisible Frodo that is also part of this this set. That's a Barnes and Noble exclusive. I don't have the original. I don't have any of the original uh, Lord of the Rings pops because I started collecting started collecting way after that. So I don't have any of those. But I am very happy because there was a Golem with that original set. I was knew I'd never get it. So now that I actually have an invisible version and a chase version. I am super happy. So that is pretty much it for the haul for that day. Um, this one, unfortunately, the box isn't perfect. There are a couple imperfections on it, but no big deal. Uh, it is what it is. There was two. I think I got the better one out of the two. I, I mean, we just grabbed them both at the same time, so and we were looking for any more, but they were the only two they had. So, uh, But that is it. That was my haul from kind of running around. Um, I did actually do my first, I haven't, I've got to edit it first. I haven't done much editing lately because I finally got my computer back up and running, hopefully. So, uh, I did do a haul video where I actually went to Funko HQ and I was able, actually able to find three chases. So it made it that much better, but I've got to edit the video, which I have not done any editing for a while because I've just been having fun doing these raw straight to the to YouTube videos. So uh, eventually that will come out probably next week sometime. But other than that, thank you again for all the love, all the likes and subscribes and comments. I love po posting back. So as always, like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell if you want some new content. And as always, stay awesome.